Marcy Lerner here with an episode of Your Words, Create Your World. So I'm certain you've all had the experience of somebody saying something to you, and after they said it, you had some doubt. I'll give you an example. So sometimes you're at the supermarket or a store and you ask for help, and you say, uh, what aisle can are the pickles in? And they say, I think they're in aisle 10. And something in you isn't isn't really confident that they're in aisle 10 because they used a word that creates uncertainty in that context. And the word is think. So if they think it's there, that means they're not actually certain that it's there. And we often use the word think when we're actually sure. So I work with clients and when I'm working with them, this happens a lot. So I'll ask them uh, a follow up on a conversation we had about a conversation that they were going to have with someone on their team. And I'll say, how did the conversation go? And they say to me, I think it went well. And I said, you think it went well or it went well? And then they think about it. And 50% of the time they say, oh, yeah, it went well. And I coach them to say, I'm so happy to hear that. And I say, if you know it went well, eliminate the word think. Because when you said think, I wasn't certain that it went well. I was questioning it, which is why I asked you. And we use that word. I don't know if it's like a filler word or what it is. We tend to not always claim the thing that we're saying. And if you know it went well, say it went well. If you're unsure if it went well, then think is very appropriate. And if you want the person to have confidence in what it is you're saying, and I bet that you do in all scenarios, then eliminate the word think and claim it as it is. And when you do that, you'll have much more confidence in yourself and people will have confidence in the words that you're saying and you will become a more confident, empowering communicator. So I invite you to take a look and listen. How often are you saying think when you know? And how often are other people saying think? And when they say think, is that creating doubt for you? I know it does for me, and I know it does for others. Does it for you? Post a comment, share your thoughts. Marcy Lerner here. Your words create your world. What world are you creating?